My name is Mona Parikh and I'm the reward manager at the University of Warwick. The Warwick community is made up of 26,000 students and over 7,000 members of staff. We in the reward team spend a great deal of our time analysing the workforce data for many different purposes, but by far one of the most important ones that we provide data for is the annual gender pay gap report, which is a government requirement. We also work with many different departments around the university to then see how that data can inform actions that need to be introduced in order to close the pay gap. We found that the differences between the pay of men and women at the same grade is small and in many cases insignificant. So if it's not equal pay that is the issue, what is the cause of our gender pay gap? And when we examined our data in more detail, it became clear quite quickly that the cause of Warwick's pay gap can most certainly be attributed to the profile of our workforce. We found that females, staff of BAME ethnicity and staff who have declared a disability tend to dominate the lower grades and have a low representation in the senior grades. If we want to address the gender pay gap, and make a real change, we need to address the uneven distribution of staff by gender across different grades. And this also applied to ethnicity and disability. So how are we driving change to progressively remove barriers, particularly for those groups that are underrepresented at senior levels. We've introduced and piloted leadership and development programmes in departments focused at these particular groups and the evidence has shown these programmes to be very successful leading to female staff being seconded and promoted into more senior roles. And more of these programmes will be rolled out in the year ahead. One of the most notable positive changes was a revision to the academic promotions process. In 2017, we saw a 100% success rate of women who applied for professorial promotion and this has continued through the years and more is being done to accelerate the progress in this area. We're now focused on developing an institutional talent management strategy, which will cover talent attraction, recruitment, development, promotion, progression and succession planning. The Pay Action Group has published a Pay Action Plan and continues to work with all the departments across the university, as well as the Gender Task Force, the Race Equality Task Force and the Disability Task Force in order to close the gaps. I am really excited to be working with a team who will be creating real change and will contribute to creating an environment where everyone can achieve their full potential.